at the Sacramento Zoo. Thank you so much for tuning in. This Facebook Live is sponsored by Jiffy Loop of Greater Sacramento. We are so grateful to Jiffy Loop for supporting the zoo. Um, if you too are interested in supporting us, feel free to visit our website, saczoo.org, and you can learn more about our emergency relief fund. So today we are kind of, well we are, <laughs> checking out the giraffe with one of our awesome ungulate keepers. Hello. Hi everybody. My name is Rachel. I'm one of the co-primary ungulate keepers here. And here is one of my good giraffe friends, Sky. Hi, Sky. Uh, right now we kind of have an odd setup. So we're doing a lot of refurbishing and revamping while we're closed and taking advantage. So right now we're housing them inside while we get a lot of work done on their exhibit. So this is probably a view you guys don't normally get to see of them. So right now um, they have access to their barn and Sky is much of a people person. So that's why she's here hanging out. Um, Shawnee and Amira are both inside. They may pop out, but they're a little more shy. Um, so they might come and go, but we do have some snacks around for them if they would like it. So Sky here is special for a few reasons. Uh, primarily, she is our only reticulated giraffe. So here at the Sacramento Zoo, we house two different types of giraffes. So here we have Sky, the reticulated giraffe. Um, here comes Shawnee out in the back. She's one of our Maasai giraffes. So one of the ways you can tell them apart is their spot pattern. So the best way I describe it is if you can see, Sky has nice clean edges, almost like cookie cutters, took um, some, made some nice spots on her where Shawnee in the back has more jagged edges. People kind of like to call them grape leaves or maple leaves because they're very irregular and they're a lot darker. Uh, Skye is also special um, in that she's our oldest giraffe. So wow. she is 21 years old. She'll be 22 in July. And actually just looking up and doing some math, she is as old as all of our Maasai giraffes put together. So, very cool. Yeah, so Shawnee here, she'll be 10 this August. Um, Foofers, um, Chifu, we call him Foofers. Um, he's milling around in the back there. He'll be 11 this year. And Amira, our newest special lady from Santa Barbara, just turned two in March. So she's a young little lady. Um, she's still getting her bearings and she is a little shy, but she really has grown attached to Shawnee, our other female Maasai. And she kind of follows her around like a little shadow. So she may get Aww. brave enough to see what Shawnee is doing out here and join us uh, yeah. for our live stream. Awesome, hopefully she will make an appearance, but it's totally up to her if she would like to uh, come out and say hello. Chifu just decided to come <laughs> out and see what all the hullabaloo is about. So guys, if you're just joining us, we are here at the Sacramento Zoo. We are live checking out some of our giraffes um, with Keeper Rachel, totally awesome. If you guys have any questions, we would love to hear from you guys. So feel free to leave them in the comment section and we will try to get to your questions. And again, this Facebook Live is sponsored by Jiffy Lube of Greater Sacramento. And we are so grateful to their um, sponsorship and support. If you are also interested in supporting the Sacramento Zoo, feel free to visit our website, saczoo.org, and you can learn more about our emergency relief fund. So speaking of Amira, there she is. She's popping her head out. She's very cute. You might notice Shawnee's popping out, so you'll notice a real size difference. So both our mature adult females are about 13 feet tall. So you see Amira's probably about 11 and a half feet tall. Uh, giraffes typically grow for the first several years of life. So both Shawnee and Skye are full grown, but it'll be a few more years before Amira reaches her tip top height of about 13 to 14 feet. Chifu in the back there, he's itchy all the time. Um, he's about 16 feet tall, so you can see him coming up behind her and how big that height difference is. All right, we have a question from Pam about how old our new giraffe is, and if you could remind us of her name. Yes, Amira is our newest giraffe. She came to us from the Santa Barbara Zoo a few months ago. She is just freshly two years old back in March, um, on March 14th. She's a Pi Day baby. Uh, so yeah, she's two. Shawnee here is nine. Guy here is 21, and Chifu in the back there, he is 10. Awesome. Alice, age 9, is wondering how long their necks are. Their necks typically are about 6 feet long, so as a general rule of thumb, I'd like to say, or most people say that giraffes follow kind of a rule of sixes. Typically their legs are about 6 feet long, their bodies are about 6 feet long, and their necks are about 6 feet long. So they're very keen on the number 6 for some reason. Yeah, they seem to be. And guys, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in our comment section. We would love to get to your questions and talk about giraffes. 
if we're still talking about their necks too, um, they have the same number of neck vertebrae that we do. Theirs are just about a foot long. So there's seven in our neck and they're all nice oh, and wow. short. Um, but yeah, theirs are about that long at each little vertebrae. It's wild. That's awesome. All right, can you tell us a little bit about where we can um, find giraffes, where they're native to? Yeah, so all giraffes are native to Africa. Um, unfortunately, they're not found as widespread as they once were. So Sky here being a reticulated giraffe, she's mostly found in Kenya, whereas the Maasai giraffes are typically found in Tanzan Tanzania, parts of Kenya. Um, so right now, yeah, there's kind of sparse populations, unfortunately, um, due to habitat fragmentation from humans. Um, but generally, Africa is the easiest way. Where are they from? Cool. So we got a few more questions coming in. James, age three, wants to know how much they eat. Oh, James, they eat a lot. Uh, <laughs> giraffes like to eat. As you can see, um, they're eating a lot of leaves and leaf matter. They can eat up to about 70 pounds of leaf matter a day. Here in the zoo, it's a little difficult to get all that, so we supplement with things like alfalfa and grain. So just like there's dog food and cat food, there's a company that makes giraffe food. So we give them that grain as well as as much browse as we can uh, and alfalfa. So another way, Aaron's been talking about the uh, emergency fund and other ways you can help. One way that you can specifically help the giraffes is donating browse, which is a fancy way of saying tree trimmings and shrub trimmings. So you can see Shawnee munching on some browse back there. I've been feeding sky browse here. Um, so basically, if you want to help, you can donate. Uh, go to our website, saczoo.org slash browse, B-R-O-W-S-E. You can find a full list of types of trees and leaves and stuff we accept that are favorites to these guys. We like nice big forked pieces. So you can see Shawnee's hanging and um, eating off the one we hung up. So those are preferred sizes. We can always trim down, but we can't pull it back together. So um, one specific way to help our giraffes here, like I said, is if you want to go to our website and check out our browse program, we would be forever grateful. And I'm sure Sky and the gang would be too. Yeah, browse program is a great way to support the Sacramento Zoo and our giraffes and our other animals that also enjoy some browse material. Kennedy, age eight, was wondering about their teeth. How many do they have and how special they are towards what they eat? Yeah, so giraffes are pretty special that they only have a full set of bottom teeth and only an upper set of molars. So they can't open their mouths that wide. Um, and you can see Shawnee is demonstrating why they don't have upper teeth on the top uh, there in the front because they don't open their mouths that wide, but they still want to strip and eat leaves. So the molars are there to grind all their uh, leaves up, but they need a nice little way to get all the leaves in and they have a nice hard upper palate, so they don't need those front teeth. So it's pretty wild. So if you ever see a giraffe skeleton, it'll look like they just lost all their teeth waiting for the tooth fairy, but they're not coming in. They just only have a full set of molars and those bottom ones in the front there. Very cool. Cool adaptation for these giraffes. And Shawnee, fun fact, is missing one of her front bottom teeth, so. If you ever manage to catch a glimpse, there's going to be That's a, how you know it's her. a little gap there in the front. I mean, where'd all your friends go? All right, let's see. So we have another question from Rosie, age nine. She is wondering um, about how much time they spend eating. Yeah, so these guys, uh, they don't sleep a lot because they do uh, eat a lot. They are mega herbivores, which is a fancy way of saying they eat a lot of leaves. So they can eat upwards of 12 to 18 hours a day. They don't really sleep. Uh, they just spend a lot of time eating because unfortunately the food they eat doesn't have super high nutrients so they eat a lot of it so they can get what they need to keep themselves going and sustain so if they could they would eat all day they take breaks to ruminate you might catch them ruminating here on exhibit they kind of look zoned out and you might notice they have a bolus or cud come up their throat like a goat and then you'll see their cheeks poof out and then they'll sit there chew 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 swallowed again that's so they can get most out of it. Like I was saying, low nutrients. So they chew, swallow, they got a bunch of gut bacteria they're basically feeding. You're not feeding the giraffe, you're feeding their tummies. So we make sure that they always have something to keep their gut bacteria happy, Very keeping cool. them healthy. That's great information. We have a few questions about um, giraffes sleeping and how long they sleep. And yes. that process may look so like. giraffes being so large, you can imagine they're a nice big tasty snack. So they know that. So they optimize their sleep. So they only power sleep about 30 minutes a day. And when they do that, they do actually get on the ground. Um, you might notice their knees. People always ask us um, their knees. Those are technically their wrists, um, but they look all scabby and stuff. They come out looking like that. They're callous. 
Watching a giraffe go up and down, there's nothing graceful about it. So those are basically built-in knee pads. So when they go down, they curl up in a nice little ball and rest their head on their rump. And then they power nap for about 30 minutes and they're set. They're really good about zoning out um, as well. So while they're ruminating, they just kind of take a nice little standing, eyes open siesta, so to speak. Um, yeah, they're not big on sleeping. So I don't think I could be a giraffe because yeah. I always like to sleep. You like sleeping. Um, a few questions about um, how big babies are when they are born, how tall. Yeah, typically a baby giraffe is about five and a half feet to six feet tall, so much larger than me. Uh, and usually they weigh about 120 to 150 pounds. So you can imagine basically just a full grown man at birth. It's, they're large. Large Great giraffes babies. have large babies. Alright guys, if you're just tuning in, we're here live at the Sacramento Zoo. We are hanging out with some giraffes and this Facebook Live is sponsored by Jiffy Lube of Greater Sacramento. We are so grateful for their support. It's so awesome. Um, and if you are also interested in supporting the Sacramento Zoo, feel free to visit our website, saczoo.org, and you can learn more about our emergency relief fund. And again, if you guys have any questions about giraffes, feel free to leave them in our comments section. They're very, very cool. Right. It's so peaceful just kind of watching them eat, kind of hanging out with them. Yeah, so giraffes are really well known for that big purple tongue, and Sky's demonstrating they're very dainty and delicate with it. It's prehensile, which basically means they can use it like a hand. They're very good at stripping leaves. And like I was mentioning, they don't have those upper front teeth. They use their bottom teeth and that upper palate to strip bark. So you might notice um, if you come around later in the day sometimes um, on exhibit, some of the branches look like they've been stripped. Uh, the giraffes do that all themselves. They really enjoy the bark as a treat. So they use that little wedge of their front teeth and upper uh, part of their mouth to strip everything nice and clean. Very cool. We've got all the girls out here. So what is something we should know about giraffes out in the wild? What are some threats that they face? Unfortunately, the biggest threat to giraffes is people. Like I was saying before, they're very large. Um, they have a strong enough kick to take down, down things like hyenas, lions. So those guys are typically smart enough to know they're not going to mess with the giraffe. So unfortunately, people are all the number one problem uh, due to agricultural expansion, taking over land they need, which also causes habitat fragmentation, which causes to isolated populations which isn't good for genetics. So here in zoos, we participate in the species survival plan to make sure we have robust genetic diversity. So if anything catastrophic happens in the wild, we don't, won't have any genetic issues keeping the species sustained until we can figure out a way to reintroduce them. So that fragmentation is a big deal. Unfortunately, local traditions um, are a threat to giraffes, but there's a lot of great organizations like Wild Nature Institute, who we partner with, that do a lot of research on giraffes. Um, unfortunately, not a lot's known, even though everyone knows a giraffe, we don't know much about them. So hmm. not only does Wild Nature Institute do a lot of research about giraffes, they work with a lot of local tribes, people, um, and such to help educate them and help get them involved in conserving them and being kind of a front runner on the ground to help keep these guys alive and thriving. That's awesome. We've got a few more questions that are coming in. Um, Jean wants to know how many subspecies of giraffe there are. So right now, that's kind of a hot button topic. Um, so right now, the world still recognizes one species uh, with nine subspecies, um, but more current research is showing there might actually be four species with seven subspecies, but more or less, um, right now everyone's kind of still going under the impression there's nine different types, so we have two here, but if you're kind of going by that new research that's happening, um, both Maasai and Reticulates would be considered their own species, but still, lots of research, like I said, we don't know much about these guys for some reason, even though they're so large and so majestic. Um, but yes, many different types. Um, they're mostly identified by where they're found geographically in Africa, as well as visually so like I was talking about earlier you can see a difference in the spot patterns between the reticulated and the Maasai and if you look up other different types of giraffes they got different face shapes different spotting patterns different lengths to which their spots some giraffes have spots all the way down to their fetlocks um, okay. so yes TBD we're still learning every day still learning lots of research being done which is great we're happy to support that um, Alaska, age six, wants to know how much do they weigh, and then Adelaide, age nine, 
wanted to know the average height of an adult giraffe. So most giraffes, females typically weigh around 1,600 pounds. That's what Skye here weighs. Um, Shawnee, she's a little bit um, denser, um, to say it politely. So she's around the 1,800 pound mark. Um, Chifu, he wandered away. Um, since he's a large male, he's about 22, 2,400 pounds. So about a ton. And the females get to be about 14 feet tall or so, give or take, and males can be anywhere 16 to 19 feet tall. It's kind of rare to have a 19 foot tall guy, but not unheard of. Very cool. Connor, age four, wants to know how fast they can run. So giraffes can run up to about 30, 35 miles an hour. So if um, anyone's ever seen a horse galloping, a thoroughbred, um, which is typically one of the more known race horses, um, they go about as fast as that. So yeah, pretty lickety split, these guys. We've got a really awesome question from Emily. She is curious about how giraffes drink their water. Yeah, so giraffes um, out in the wild will be, they don't actually drink too much. Uh, there's a lot of morning dew out in Africa, so that condenses on the leaves they eat. So typically they get most of the moisture from the food they're eating. When they do actually drink from a water source, they splay their front legs out and dip their heads down, um, almost making like a triangle um, with their body to get down there. We help them out a little bit here at the zoo. Um, so we have drinkers up closer to face height, so they just kind of have to bend over a little bit. But yeah, sometimes if you might come by, you'll see them trying to pick food and stuff off the floor too, but it's definitely very awkward. They almost just do a front split and then dip their head down. So that they're a little bit closer to the ground. Awesome, so we're gonna answer one more question. Let's see. Michaela wants to know if they eat any fruits or vegetables. They do, so here at the Sacramento Zoo, we give them a little bit of produce for breakfast while we're setting up their yard for them. So they like things like lettuce, carrots, grapes. Um, those are a lot of their favorites. So, um, and just like us, fruits are nice and sweet, but we try to limit those because of the amount of sugar. So they typically get more veggies than fruit. But as you can see, Sky is doing a great job looking for those mulberries on that branch right there. So oh, delicious. But yes, they are very good at eating their fruits and veggies. They're an, herb That's great. They're an herbivore, so they actually only eat fruits, veggies, and leaves. Awesome. So we got two more questions just to keep in. We'll answer them pretty quickly. Um, Brooklyn wanted to know why they have long necks, and then Audrey, age seven, wanted to know how they groom themselves. They seem like they might be really good. Yeah, so um, they have such long necks. Again, that's one of the things we're learning about. Um, early studies were thinking that's just because they wanted to eat off the tall trees, and eventually they just came to have such a long neck, but some studies are showing that's not quite the case. Um, other people are thinking um, it's helping them be a lookout, so the reason they can survive so well being such a large prey animal is they can actually see danger long before it arrives. So they're kind of like the lookout of the savanna, actually. If things like zebras or whatever see a giraffe kind of on edge, they know something might be lurking around. So it basically helps them out um, to survive by having such a long neck between food and being a surveillance system for the savanna. And these guys, in terms of grooming, they actually don't do too much grooming. They actually have this really bizarre, waxy, greasy, they don't look greasy, but if you touch them, your hand comes off black. So that helps protect them and keep their hair nice and smooth. Um, sometimes they will kind of like lick at themselves, but that's mostly to get flies off. But they stay this beautiful and shiny and pristine without any grooming. I'm jealous, actually. <laughs> very awesome. Very cool. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in to our Facebook Live today, meeting our giraffes. We really, really appreciate y'all's support. And again, a big thank you to Jiffy Loop of Greater Sacramento uh, for sponsoring our Facebook Live videos. Really awesome to have their support. And if you too are also interested in supporting Sacramento Zoo, feel free to visit our website, saczoo.org, and you can learn more about our emergency relief fund. Hope you guys have a really great day. Thank you so much for tuning in.